Jo Canning and I'm a principal with EMA Partners and I'm delighted to be back once again as a part of the Women in Payment speaker series, My Career in Six. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Sasha Kirstick, president of MasterCard Canada, who's going to be sharing a little bit about her career journey with us today. So welcome, Sasha. And I would just ask if you could introduce yourself. Hi, Joe. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Sasha Kirstick. As you heard, I'm the president of MasterCard Canada. I've been with the company um, just over 15 years and had the pleasure of serving uh, not only in Canada, but also um, across Europe and Asia Pacific. Wonderful. Well, in order to learn a little bit more about your career journey, Sasha, I'm going to be asking you six shorter questions, followed by six more detailed questions where we can dig a little bit deeper. So if you're ready, we'll, uh, we'll dive right in. <laughs> Let's do it. So firstly, who or what inspires you? My parents. Hi, mom and dad. <laughs> I hope they're watching. <laughs> and do you attribute your success to luck or hard work? A lot of hard work with some luck fairy dust sprinkled in on top. We all need that fairy dust. <laughs> and what propels you forward? Perpetual optimism. The glass is always half full. Oh, I love that. And do you have a favorite quote or, or a motto, something that resonates with you and that you live by? I do. It is uh, vulnerability is the birthplace of innovation, creativity, and change. And I think that applies to both professional life and personal life. I could not agree more. And for you, when applying for a new opportunity, what percentage of skills or attributes do you feel that you need to have deep expertise in, you know, in order to feel really confident about your application? I would say 70% of the skills and 100% confidence in the how. 100% confidence in the how, that's wonderful. And, a question that, you know, has definitely posed some uh, challenges for, for a number of people in this series. What for you do you think is the coolest payments company around? <laughs> no challenge at all. MasterCard for sure. <laughs> I love the branding. <laughs> so we'll dig a little bit deeper and just to learn a little bit more about your specific journey. And so when you reflect back and you think about your career, what is, stands out for you as being the greatest um, challenge or obstacle that you faced when climbing that ladder? I think it's um, letting, worrying too much about what other people think about uh, how I come across and letting that override my gut. So am I too loud? Am I too young? Am I too bold? Am I not bold enough? Am I not young enough? Am I not experienced enough? Uh, putting all of those things to rest um, and just learning and being comfortable in being as authentic as I can in the moment. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of women struggle with that and being sort of authentic and worrying too much, for sure. Um, and on the flip side, what, what has been your greatest career achievement or accomplishment? Definitely the relationships I have built. Uh, I spend a lot of time and energy uh, building those connections. Um, it means a lot to me personally, but I think it also helps get things done. Uh, and I hope that that would be a lasting legacy um, that I would leave is relationships. No, relationships are key, absolutely. And, and any regrets, you know, any, anything that you would have done differently? And based on that, is there any advice that you have to others that are, you know, perhaps at a different stage in their own career? Not so much regrets, Joe, but I would say a really powerful learning for me has been to understand that um, setbacks serve a purpose. So when you don't get that job you want, when the project doesn't go as smoothly as you anticipated, when a relationship is bumpy, uh, trying to see the reason or the lesson in that. Hard to do in the moment, but inevitably valuable upon reflection. It is hard to do in the moment, but I think you definitely can learn from those setbacks and those challenges for sure. And, and what kind of support or, or mentorship have you been able to offer others as they've sort of built out their own careers? I think a lot of the time it's about uh, using the two ears that we've been given to listen uh, and then providing an opportunity for their voice to shine uh, and giving them a sounding board so that they can um, bounce ideas off and inevitably bounce concerns off because having that safe place to have a conversation um, is really important to giving people the opportunity to find how they can be them best self. Mm -hmm. That's great advice. And, and how important for you have, have your network, and you alluded to this earlier, but your network and your connections been in, in helping you get to where you are today? In very, very important, I would say, uh, on two fronts. On a personal level, um, your network and your connections help with perspective, with insight. They help with confidence. So they're a sounding board, as I've mentioned. Uh, but on a professional level, uh, it's very rare that we can get anything done on our own. And so relationships simply help get things done and they help move business forward. Mm -hmm. And I think using a platform like Women in Payments as that networking tool is, uh, is invaluable for, for a lot. Without question. Mm -hmm. 
And as a senior female leader, you know, what specifically have you done to, you know, help shape the corporate culture at MasterCard? We were chatting a little bit earlier about COVID and sort of the impact on the corporate culture and the day-to-day -day working activities. But what have you done specifically to, to help shape that co corporate culture, either here in Canada or in, or in Europe? I think being and coming across as human as possible, uh, that relatability in terms of helping people understand that we all have good days, we all have challenging days, they often happen at different times, and so having the flexibility as well as the um, caring to acknowledge that. Um, as a working mom, uh, you know, there are lots of things to juggle, uh, and other people have similar things or different things that they need to juggle, but showing that it's possible um, and that we can create space for people to, to work how they want and when they want. Um, on a practical level, just to give an example, during COVID, we introduced meeting free time zones so that um, all of the meetings that were piling up on people's calendars because we had to do them virtually because we couldn't find them by the water cooler or at their desk, um, just gave people an opportunity to either think or eat lunch or get out for a walk, um, but have some time that wasn't assumed by meetings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely think time has changed under COVID for sure. Well, that does bring us to the end of our questions today, Sasha. It's been lovely catching up with you. Always great to spend a little bit of time learning about the career journeys of others. And I really think that you've left us with a lot to, uh, to think about. And so thank you so much for your input. The pleasure was mine, Joe. Thanks again for having me. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.